Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today I want to look at a little tiny utility that I found, uh, Netfort Span Port Configurator, this guy. Um, I love these little utilities for the field. Uh, this is great for people who aren't too familiar or comfortable with Cisco mirroring or spanning commands, uh, either because you don't play with it a lot or you've got various vendors that you deal with and Cisco just being one of them. So I love these kind of tools because it's portable. There's nothing to install. You just download this little zip file, just unzip it and run it. It's self-contained, works great. So I'm going to just run through this real quick. Uh, here we go. So we've got our uh, website here, netfort.com. And uh, you just go to the free software section and you'll see the Netfort Span Port Configurator. Uh, you got a free download dialog box here to fill out. Uh, so far, uh, nobody's emailed or bothered me, uh, and I put my information in there. And then from there, it just forwards you to a page that lets you download it. Now, here's the cool part. I wish a lot of vendors would do this because this is so convenient. If you come down here, it says uh, there are two steps in the configuration process for what? Well, you need to make sure that your switch has a username and a password. If you don't remember how to do it or you don't do it often enough and you're just in a lab, well, this is how you do it. They actually tell you down here the commands. Beautiful. I love that kind of stuff. It says your Cisco switches supported in this release. It tells you all these little switches here. I've got a 2940. It's not on the list, but again, this is just a little GUI wrapped around a Telnet command, so it should work on anything. So I'm going to try it out with my 2940, and we'll see how it goes. So that's that's the website. That's the software. After you get the software, you launch the software. It looks like this. Now I'm going to back up a step here. I'm going to actually log into my switch. And uh, for the people who remember this, I've got my, well, yeah, right, username. I've got my lab that on the banner tells me the username, password, and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm going to type in now. And my password. There we go. Now from there, if I was to show my running configuration, uh, you'll see there's no mirrored commands or span commands or anything like that in this switch currently. So from here, after I connect to it, it brings up all my ports and the description that I've put into my interfaces. So if I wanted to monitor my printer, for example, I would come over to the printer. And that would be my, obviously, my source, because that's what I want to measure, I want to monitor. So I've either got my in ingress, egress, or both. And I have the Wireshark analyzer tool or whatever I'm going to run, and that'd be the destination. So there you go. From there, I'm going to apply changes to the switch. Click. And it says changes, configuration changes successfully applied to switch, blah, blah, blah. Now, if I come back over here and I do the show run command again, at the bottom, you see my monitor session command. See? So that was as easy as it gets as far as I'm concerned. Uh, there's always something I like to double check, and that's if I put this back to none and put this to none, and then I apply that changes to the switch. And I'll come back and show run. Took it out. So it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Fantastic. So um, I don't know what else to say. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, go get it. Play with it if you need it. And have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.